guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be answering one of the most common questions i get about take a lot and that is around inventory management so if you are struggling with inventory management hopefully this will help right first things first inventory management is a nightmare so don't feel bad if you are struggling with it it is very common. I've struggled a lot with my own inventory management. I always want to change and improve things and it's quite a complicated process because of the way Take Lot does things. That's kind of like an outlier. It doesn't matter how good you are, there is that like big anomaly in, on how they operate. There are some concepts with regards to inventory management and selling on Take Lot. Obviously you have in stock, which creates the complexity of you have your warehouse where you keep your stock and then you have take lots warehouses. Then you have the ability to sell on lead time, which means that you keep the stock at your at your warehouse and then you can send it on when you get the orders. And then as we get deeper into the video, I'm going to talk about how obviously the expert level inventory management techniques you can sell on multiple platforms and still have that inventory levels balance on top of that you also may be selling on other platforms like macro and things like that and they may have their own warehouses or they may have just like a lead time type of capabilities and a lot of you will probably also be selling on your own shopify or woocommerce store i'm also going to talk about some systems that i do recommend for managing your inventory so there are some like really popular ones. I know a lot of people have tried stuff and I've seen a lot of people and spoken to a lot of people who have tried ones that don't work. So hopefully those recommendations will help. But anyway, let's have a look over here on this uh, single page uh, document that I <laughs> put together. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk about like easy, medium and expert level inventory management. So for easy, that is the in stock only method of selling on take lot. You just get your stock you have a warehouse of your own and then you send stuff to take a lot new sell. I've seen guys do really good sales like this with very little admin and uh, difficulties because there's not a lot to track, right? You just have record, you can see here, record in, record out, which is gonna be your, your replenishments to take a lot. Just check what arrives there and then once in a while recon to the sales on take a lot to your own system to make sure everything balances out. Very easy very simple and you can actually go really far with this your limitation is you're not selling on lead time you're not selling uh, on other platforms because you don't know this is all like probably in a spreadsheet and it's very difficult to send those stock levels to other places and if you were selling on lead time you wouldn't be able to update that stock level to be able to sell on your website just so for, for obviously you don't want to oversell you know because if you get an order on take lot you can't sell that same product to someone on your Shopify store. Unless you have thousands of units, then you could probably work around that with some sort of limit or buffer. On the medium method, this is where you throw lead time into the equation. Again, you've got to record in. Now, when we get to this point, it's probably time to start using a accounting or inventory management system. You can record it in with purchase receives or bills in a lot of systems then recording out is probably not just going to be like a minus it's probably going to be like a official transfer order that's for your like uh, replenishment stuff check again what arrives at uh, take a lot now because lead times involved depending on your volume that you're working with if you're like a guy that just brings in twenty thousand units of xyz uh, you're probably not too worried about selling on multiple platforms you could probably do like a daily update of the stock levels but in this case, it's most of you guys are selling, like you're bringing in five, 10, 15 units, and you can get 15 sales in a day on a specific platform. So you want to be able to sell on multiple platforms, but you want to keep your inventory levels low, which is always a good practice. So depending on the sales volumes, you're going to need to be able to capture that sale immediately as it happens on Amazon or take a lot, update your sort of master source, generally with some sort of like sales order or invoice, and then resync that stock on hand back to take a lot, depending on if it's in stock or lead time. So that can be quite challenging, especially when you add in like multiple of us, you're always gonna have your lead time days, but then now 
you know, thinking of the next step, we're going to be adding other channels and you can already see the complexity of getting that information moving back between the platforms. At this point, you're probably going to start needing some help on the integrations and, you know, using some sort of software or tools to help you do this because it is very challenging to do in a manual sense. And of course, once in a while, recon it back to take lot sales. At expert level, <laughs> it gets a little bit more tricky. Same thing, record in, record out. You probably almost guaranteed to be using a inventory management system at this point. Same thing, there's gonna be exceptions and depending on the volume, you obviously wanna sell at this point now multiple channels. So Shopify, Amazon, Take A Lot, Macro. Again, if you've got thousands of these units, you just send probably a reasonable amount to each platform uh, as a lead time available stock on hand uh, figure. But if you don't, then you're going to have to be able to capture all of that information from the different sales channels, capture it in your main system and then update all of those. So if you get a sale on macro, you must now reduce your stock level that you have on hand and then send that updated figure to take lot. You see how quickly this becomes a very complicated uh, system. And it's not impossible, there are tools, but yeah, this, this is where the complexity lies. And obviously updating all of those different figures and then you receive stock in one, in your inventory management system, you need to push those levels to all these different platforms. And then like you might have walk-in customers, so every sale affects every platform and every platform sale affects every other platform. So <laughs> this is where it really, really gets tricky. Things that you can do to help at this level and uh, this is probably where most of you guys do need the help. Um, I have done a video on using the API calls from uh, TakeLot where you can get like the sales API. I would always have that running into like a sheet so you can just see that real-time sales on the different platforms. You can see the real-time sales on your uh, inventory management system. And just having that like little recon is gonna be a huge help down the line just to be able to find out, you know, where things went wrong or different discrepancies. Uh, but yeah, it, just the fact that you don't have to download it every single time is gonna be a huge help. Obviously using an inventory management system and picking the right inventory management system at this point is now a critical discussion. Things that you got to think about with the inventory management system is like how it's going to integrate with your accounting software. There's some configurations that just won't work, right? For instance, maybe like Sage and uh, Deer, you know, like they don't connect, right? They don't feed information into each other, which means now you're going to raise an invoice, raise a bill, uh, invoice a client, it's not going to be there, this, you know, they're going to ask for an invoice that like that, they just don't talk to each other. So accounting and inventory management have to have a native sync. That's going to make your life so much easier. None of them are going to have a native integration to take a lot. Uh, I think Shopify has like some sort of plug in that might be good, but I think they will come. I don't think it's too far away before a native integration pops up on one of these uh, from one of the two that I'm going to be recommending. Integration to other platforms. I know a lot of them do have like Amazon and Etsy and eBay and probably not Macro, but Macro soon because Macro is owned by Walmart and Walmart's got a great one in, in the States. Um, and then obviously this is the big pain point at this point is the pricing. These things are damn expensive. <laughs> so that, that gets me into my recommendation phase. Uh, my number one recommendation is going to be Zoho Inventory. Uh, synced up with Zoho Books, which is pricing wise, you're going to need probably two warehouses. So you're kind of looking at the professional, you can get a bit of a discount if you pay annually. Let's say your orders are a lot higher, you know, you might need that third warehouse and you might need those extra orders. So let's say we're at, we're at 1899. That's quite a lot. But my other recommendation is something like uh, Sin 7. I mean, this is kind of the gold standard since seven and zero integration. I've seen big like 100 million, 300, rand million, 300 million rand companies that are running businesses on this sort of setup, very complica complicated manufacturing. Uh, it, can, it, it works, um, it's just damn expensive. So I think you would probably, because there's no integration, uh, you're going to have to have access to the API, uh, probably some of these automations, which are all add-ons, you know, and I think they're like $100 extra. Um, you have the warehousing. There's obviously uh, unlimited warehouses or in inventory locations is probably very important. But 
I don't think you're going to get away with between five hundred and nine hundred dollars a month. So that's like fifteen to. I'm I'm going to say you're going to be at about fifteen thousand because zero is also a thousand rand a month. Uh, so yeah, this is a much more expensive thing. Kind of does the same as Zoho and uh, leaves you a lot more flexibility, but. In terms of like who's been around longer, this was previously Deer and Deer Inventory Management has an incredible reputation globally, uh, UK, USA, South Africa, and they have a strong presence in South Africa. So they things are designed to know how it works here. That's something you need to factor in, like what is your basket value? What is what is the the value to your business? Probably, I would still go with uh, Zoho Inventory. And what you can also do is get the Zoho One thing, which means you get it actually included. So for 450 Rand per employee. So you obviously get all the Zoho apps uh, with it, or you can do like a single user where you pay one, one, two, five. And then if you have another user, that's another one, one, two, five. So even if you have, if you have a team of like three, I would say like, just go with this, right? Um, you get access to inventory books as well. Um, plus every other, let me see if I can go into plan details. Yeah, you get all of these, uh, you get the CRM, you get uh, a website type of thing, you get bookings, you get forms, you get an automation tool, you get mail, uh, you get a shared inbox, um, e-signing, which I've done a video on. Yeah, it, it's quite a, uh, like an, a hiring thing, contract management. It really is quite worth it. Um, so yeah, this, this is what I'm running a lot of organizations on. Works out the most cost effective. So yeah, that's just about it for inventory management. It's not the most exciting topic, but I know a lot of you guys have uh, questions around it. Do leave your questions below. And if you guys have better software recommendations, leave them in the comments and let other people, you know, share share your, your stories with what whatever you're doing. Um, yeah, it's not that easy to be able to figure this out on your own. So hopefully this can be, uh, if you didn't get much from this, you can obviously just check in the comments and there's bound to be some uh, really interesting things going on there. It's a complicated matter and even myself, always looking to learn more about it. So guys, if you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll check you in another video.